is travel with caution. <laughs> These woods are home to the bones of many a fallen hero. Uh, see, Howard's just as good a dungeon master as I am. As good? Well, you just got pantsed in the schoolyard, four eyes. <laughs> A spectral shape rises from Kuthra Polly's bloody corpse and says, Don't worry, buddies. Ghost Raj will help guide you through the forest. <laughs> well, I'm just a tree, but if I were you, I'd listen to your ghost friend! <laughs> Go on, give him your lunch Over money. Against the secret door to see if it gives way. Mm -hmm. It does. <laughs> sound effects, too. <laughs> hey, I always did sound effects. Uh, a swarm of bloodthirsty bats fly through the dungeon. <laughs> uh, they attack a nearby unicorn. <laughs> okay, well, I have a sound effect for those sound effects. <laughs> for the dungeon master. Uh... uh satanic fungus that looks suspiciously like Al Pacino, rises from the forest floor and says, you're playing D&D. You're playing D&D. This whole apartment is playing D&D. You find yourselves face to face with two hulking ogres. What are you doing in our dungeon? <laughs> you shall die. Okay, literal goosebumps, look. Balls from the sky crashing into the volcano. Hey! Wait! He's not dead. He crawls out, spreads his wings, and prepares to attack. Get away, get away! And they say something first? You know, maybe in the voice of a beloved celebrity? Fine. You'd think, after all these years, I'd know not to fly over volcanoes. I'm a freaking idiot. The dragons, Christopher Walken, that's perfect. <laughs> All right, Amy, it's your turn. We need one more hit. Finish him off. Here we go. Fifteen. It's a hit. The dragon collapses to the ground. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. And says... <laughs> Mother, is that you? <laughs> your little boy is coming home. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I've been through the emotional ringer tonight. 